Hey everyone! As I'm sure you've heard, the Common Application has officially launched for the 2019-20 admissions cycle. Um, so here at College Essay Advisors, we wanted to make a tutorial to show you around the site. We're going to start by logging in. Yay! Okay, let's go in. So as you can see, the schools that we had on our list have um, remained on our list for the 2019-20 application season. And there are some really cool new things on the Common App. For one, they've done a total uh, style makeover. Um, last year or the year before, they had more of a red color scheme and now we're totally new with this blue and green. Um, I really like it. Um, so as far as new things this year, which we think are super cool, in the dashboard, if you have a school on your list, and we'll show you how to add a school to your list later on in the video, you can add your term or admission plan to find out how many days you have until your deadline. So let's say we want to apply to Duke Early Decision. We're going to log that information in. And then we go back to our dashboard. Duke now has the deadline and how many days we have until the deadline. So if you're applying anywhere with the November 1st deadline, you have three months. So before we mentioned that you can add a school to your dashboard, you can do that by searching. This is the college search feature. Very helpful. In the 2018-19 Common App, um, you had to completely fill out this section and hit enter to get any results. But this year, um, you can begin by typing out a school and the list will auto-populate, which is really nice. Um, you can also search with filters. You can choose whether you would like no fee, no common app, no college specific essays, although <laughs> just because there isn't a writing supplement section doesn't mean that there aren't additional essays. Um, we'll touch on that again later. So this is the common app section of the common application and this is where you're going to fill out all of your basic information. Your name, your school info, your family info. What we are really interested in, however, is the activity section. The activity section is where you will list um, your top 10 activities and you'll be given the opportunity to um, provide a description. So as you can see, you can choose the activity type. Let's just say robotics for now. Um, your position or leadership description, and then you have 150 characters, not words, to describe the activity, including any accomplishments, um, what years you participated, and how much time you spent. Um, and then our favorite section is the writing section. So this is the personal essay, the personal statement, also referred to as the Common App Essay. Um, here you'll notice that it tells us which schools that are already on our, our college list or in our dashboard that you saw earlier, um, which require the personal statement and which do not. But just a note, just because they don't require it doesn't mean you shouldn't submit it. If it's an option, you should take advantage of that opportunity to speak to admissions in your own voice. So here are the prompts, the seven prompts. We have our Common App Guide uh, in which we break down every single prompt and give you advice for how to respond. Um, so here are just those seven prompts. You can select the one to which you'd like to respond. And this is where your essay will go. So in the writing section, you'll also see an additional information section. Um, this additional info essay is not for every student. We have a video up on our channel about which students should respond to this 650 word prompt. You can definitely check that out. But most likely, you will not need to write the additional information essay. OK, so now we are in the My Colleges tab. Um, this is where you can find out more information about deadlines and contact info for the schools on your list. You'll also have to complete the questions section. So as you can see, Duke has general, academics, contacts, family, other information, writing. 
So if we had on questions under writing supplement for Duke, we'll find a question that is specific to the um, school, the, the college we chose earlier. So if you were actually interested in engineering, you will want to specify that um, in the general questions section so that this prompt comes out correctly. So obviously this is a 150 word Y essay. This is a 250 word community essay. And this is another 250 word essay um, that we believe is truly optional. It's only for applicants who identify as part of the LGBTQIA um, community. Um, so if you do not, this question will not be for you. Vanderbilt. So this is a great example of schools that quote unquote do not have a writing supplement section but do have an extra essay. Um, as you can see, um, Duke had that writing supplement section right here. Vanderbilt does not. That doesn't mean that there isn't an extra essay waiting for you. Here we go. Please briefly elaborate on one of your extracurricular activities or work experiences in 200 to 400 words. Now, you can upload from your computer, Google Drive, or copy and paste. This is the financial aid resources tab where you can learn more about your options. Plan for college costs, apply for financial aid, and explore scholarships, etc. Another great thing about the 2019-20 Common Application is rumor has it there will be confetti after you submit your applications. Um, we're not able to show that feature now, uh, but definitely let us know if it happens for you because that is so cool. So that is our tutorial for the 2019-20 Common Application. Definitely feel free to check out our website for our 2019-20 Common App Guide, which has breakdowns for all of the prompts. On our website, you'll also be able to find our Supplemental Essay Guide, which will walk you through those additional essays I mentioned um, in the Writing Supplement sections and sometimes hidden in the Activity sections. So definitely feel free to check that out, and we wish you the very best of luck with your applications.